Chanel Beauty is probably a little bit more of a niche brand within the skincare community. Obviously, Chanel as a brand is very well known, but I guess I don't see their beauty products spoken about that much, especially their skincare. It's one of my favorite brands to explore when I'm feeling a bit spendy and I want to splurge. I think they actually make really nice products. And I love that Chanel focuses a lot on sensoriality and offering a variety of textures. In this video, I'll specifically discuss their cleansing collection. They actually offer quite a few cleansers, so I just thought maybe a bit of a guide would be useful. I also think that cleansers are a good way of just adding a touch of luxury. So you don't need to spend like hundreds of dollars on one of the Chanel serums. You know, their cleansers are kind of Sephora pricing and a cleanser isn't something that you need to commit to long term so it's like you might buy one bottle use it once and then move on from there or you might find a favorite that you want to use long term so there's a concept in the skincare space called neuroscience and this basically relates to how people experience beauty products and it's a rising trend in skincare overall. It's thought that textures, scents, and even cleansing gestures might play a role in mood and therefore actually impact well being in different ways than just topical skincare. Chanel has been developing skincare since the 1920s, and the science of sensoriality has been a key pillar of the brand basically since inception. I have been working my way through each individual cleanser from Chanel over the last few months. They are a little bit on the pricey side, so I've just been buying one every now and then. I'll start with the La Gel Anti-Pollution Cleansing Gel. This was a surprise hit, and I, I didn't expect to love it as much as I do. Sadly, I think it might be undergoing a reformulation because it's become a little bit harder to get, but I don't know why this is such a good cleanser. It's a fairly simple, loose gel texture that comes in a pump bottle and it feels extremely soft and gentle on the skin. It's a medium weight lather and to be honest, it's kind of a basic cleanser, but just elevated slightly. It's more refined and that little bit more gentle on the skin. This cleans my skin surface really well. It's not stripping and Chanel recommends this for oily to combo skin types, which I would agree with. It just gives this feeling of overall like freshness. This cleanser includes blue microalgae for anti-pollution and Marine Salicornia for moisture support. Next is the Sublimage Gel to Oil Cleanser. This is an emulsifying cleanser that's, that starts off as a really plush gel. It melts upon skin contact into an oil, and then when you add water, it turns into a milky texture, very fluid, which rinses away. This would be a first cleanse product and suitable for makeup removal. The texture is rich, but not too heavy. I would say it rinses well, but not exceptionally well. So it does leave behind a little bit of residue. So I think this cleanser does require a second cleanse for sure, or maybe even just some assistance from like a cleansing cloth. The residue isn't annoying. You know, some cleansers leave behind a really obvious waxy feeling. It, this is not like that. It's a little bit more nourishing. And so I think this cleanser would actually be suitable across all skin types. Just keep in mind that it does have a little bit of that conditioning effect so that's just going to be like a personal preference as to your own tolerance to that one thing about sublimage is that it has this amazing like deep vanilla scent that i thoroughly enjoy and it and it gives this cleanser a lot of point, bonus points the cleanser contains vanilla planifolia water which chanel say gives the cleanser a bit of an antioxidant kick and also harangana extract and this is known as a derma purifying extract that interestingly is actually supposed to be really good for like whiteheads and acne prone skin. Chanel doesn't make those claims specifically, they just call it a detox ingredient. Next up is the anti-pollution cleansing oil. Unlike the sublimage cleanser, this is more of a traditional oil format that does come in a pump bottle though. The texture of this oil is a little bit richer than some others on the market. I'm sure you've experienced some cleansing oils that are more watery. This one does have a little bit of body and has a really nourishing and silky skin feel. This would also act as a first cleanse and be suitable for makeup removal. It rinses relatively well, but again, leaves some residue behind. Because this is more of a flawed oil, I would have liked this one to rinse a little bit better and a little bit more efficiently. And yeah, because this cleanser just does leave that moisturizing effect, um, you also definitely 
definitely would need to go in with a second cleanse. This is a good cleanser, I just don't think it's exceptional. I usually reach for it when my skin is feeling, feeling a little bit more dry and I want a bit of a cushiony impact. Next up is the La Mousse Cream to Foam Cleanser. This is probably the most old school cleanser in the Chanel range and feels a little bit like using a bar soap, but it's in a tube. This is a very strong, very purifying cleanser. I feel like it verges on being stripping. If you like that squeaky clean feeling on your skin and a very thorough cleanse, then this could be a good option for you. I only use this cleanser sparingly every now and then, just sometimes when my skin is feeling that little bit too icky then I'll reach for this to really have a thorough, thorough cleanse. It's definitely not the type of cleanser that I personally reach for regularly. And don't get it near your eyes because they will sting. Next is the LeBlanc Brightening Foam. Very similar in texture and performance to La Mousse. Chanel have included a few extra ingredients in this particular form to help visibly brighten skin tone. That includes things like licorice and pearl, but I haven't really been able to notice any practical variation between the LeBlanc and the La Mousse cleanse. Moving on to an actual bar soap, the Sublimage Cleansing Soap. It comes with its own little tray in the signature Sublimage Vanilla scent. Now the funny thing is I actually expected this one to be quite drying because it is a bar soap, but but it's super luxurious and gentle. The lather is extremely rich and enveloping, like this is tr this is a luxe cleansing experience. And it makes my skin feel amazing, just really silky and smooth. Sadly, I think this one might be discontinued because it is getting very hard to find in stock, but I'm not sure if Chanel will replace it. Next is the number one de Chanel powder to foam cleanser. This is a pretty unique cleansing experience and one that I absolutely love using. Most powder cleansers have some type of exfoliating effect, but this one does like you'll see around powder cleansers either have some sort of enzyme or an actual physical particle in them. This is just really gentle and suitable for a daily cleanse. The actual lather and foam is very cloud-like and just feels really gentle and nice on the skin. The only other cleanser that I've tried on the market that compares to this would be the Build Skincare Bee Wash. They're very, very similar. I think this is probably one of Chanel's more universal cleansers, would be suitable for all skin types and also a great one for travel because it is a powder format. Basically, you just shake some powder into your palms, add some water, and you'll see it turn into a microfoam. I'll finish off the list with probably my favorite cleanser from Chanel, and that's the water to foam cleanser. This is actually a micellar water that comes in a self-foaming pump, and the resulting texture is just so fluffy and delicate. This is probably going to be the best option for more sensitive skin types, and it makes my skin feel really clean, but in a way that's more similar to a micellar water, not stripped like an overly harsh cleanser. My skin is just refreshed and hydrated after using this. Truly no notes on this one, 10 out of 10. I think the only people that wouldn't enjoy this cleanser is if you do want a super deep, thorough, like highly purifying effect, this does lean gentle. This cleanser also features the microalgae and also the salicornia extract. Those ingredients are kind of shared across many of the cleansers in the Chanel range. When Chanel originally relaunched their like updated cleansing collection, this was a few years ago, they also had a cleansing milk, a milk to water and a milk to oil. Sadly, I didn't get a chance to try these. I think they were discontinued. They're still floating around in some countries, but I wasn't able to find them in stock. Chanel is missing like a milky cleanser or a cream cleanser from the range so I do hope they're in the process of launching something new in this category that's probably the only type of texture that I didn't get to experience while using the Chanel brand. Worth noting as well is that Chanel does offer dedicated makeup removers so they have a micellar water and also an eye makeup remover I haven't used either of these though and also just a quick note on fragrance Chanel is quite a fragrance forward brand there is some subtle differences between the scents but they're all mostly quite similar the scent is quite fresh and floral, not in like a sweet way, it's quite a, like a soapy scent to me. Sublimage is the only range that I think has a noticeable variation and that embraces more of a deep vanilla scent. Again, not a sweet vanilla, it's kind of smoky in a way, like you'd expect vanilla beans to smell. In terms of how much the scent lingers, I would say in the oil-based cleansers, the fragrance lingers the most on the skin, whereas the watery textures like the water to foam cleanser, the scent is apparent but isn't that clean clingy. So if you are trying to avoid fragrance or you don't like it to be too strong, then I, I think the water to foam cleanser would be your best option. That's it for this roundup. It was a bit of an express video. I guess there's not, I guess there's not that much to say about cleansers. Thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.